Clostridium botulinum is a bacterium described in this picmonic by the classroom bottles, which are a tool used by the substitute teacher to entertain his class. This bacteria is a bacillus, represented by the rod, which stains gram-positive, shown as the gram-cracker-positive angel. This organism is anaerobic, depicted by the ant robe, meaning it prefers to grow in the absence of oxygen. Additionally, Clostridium botulinum is spore-forming, the spores, allowing it to survive in unfavorable states. It can survive high temperatures and is found in the soil as an endospore. Despite this bacteria's resilience, it produces a neurotoxin, which is destroyed at temperatures greater than 100 degrees Celsius, called heat labile toxin, shown as the heat lamp melting toxin. Normally, this toxin is very potent, working to inhibit acetylcholine release at the neuromuscular junction, illustrated as the inhibiting chains on the acetyl cola at the NMJ neuromuscular junction. Adult botulism is often associated with ingestion of food in which Clostridium botulinum spores have been allowed to germinate in anaerobic conditions. Thus, adults are often affected after eating canned foods, represented literally as the canned food. In contrast, infant botulism is often associated with consumption of bacteria spores in honey, shown as the spores in the honey jar. Now, inhibition of acetylcholine release from these bacteria causes a descending flaccid paralysis, the down arrow wheelchair. Adult disease from foodborne exposure and wound infection leads to paralysis that typically begins with the muscles in the face. This leads to symptoms of diplopia, the double eyes, and ptosis, the toast eyes, which describes eyelid drooping. Infant botulism begins 18 to 36 hours after the toxin enters the baby's body, and infants display floppy movements due to muscle weakness and trouble controlling the head. This is aptly described as floppy baby syndrome, shown as the floppy baby in the diaper. Though one of the first signs we see in infants is constipation, the corked con toilet. So in quick review, Clostridium botulinum is a bacillus-shaped bacterium which stains gram-positive. It is an anaerobe that is spore-forming. Clostridium botulinum forms a heat labile toxin which inhibits acetylcholine release at the neuromuscular junction. Infection in adults occurs after exposure to bacteria in canned food, while infants develop disease after exposure to spores and honey. Those affected develop a descending flaccid paralysis, with symptoms starting in the face, like diplopia and ptosis. Infants, on the other hand, resemble a floppy baby, with constipation often being the initial presenting symptom. To remember Clostridium botulinum, think of it as an image straight out of an American horror story. You're in a small town, a town with only one school. It's the type of school where the biology teacher is also the lunch lady. Our scene is set in biology class, where the teacher is gathering a bunch of bottles for a lab experiment. The classroom full of bottles represents Clostridium botulinum, a powerful bacteria. For the rest of the story, check out Picmonic.com and sign up for a free account. There, you can also take Picmonic's quiz. The quiz automatically sets up your daily quiz by using space repetition algorithms based on the questions you've missed or struggled with to make sure you study what you need when you need to. While you're there, check out the rest of the gram-positive bacilli. We've got a huge amount of the content you need to remember. Everything from Corynebacterium diphtheriae, Clostridium difficile, and so much more. Like, a ton more. So see how hundreds of thousands of students like yourself have figured out how to save time and have fun doing it. So you can lock in everything you need to know forever. Play, quiz, and space repetition. Efficient, effective, and research proven to increase exam scores.